Hello y'all, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and it is time for snacks around the world. Today, if you saw the thumbnail, you saw that we have got four things to try. A couple of the things, actually one of the things only today, comes from my Munch Addict subscription box. No affiliation, I pay for it myself, but uh, I wanted to try things from all around the world, and that's what's in there. Uh, but I am going to start today with something a little more pronounceable. This was sent to me by Miss Lisa Ladybird Loves. This is uh, Penguin by McVitie's. And, oh, there are jokes. I was told, don't forget the jokes. Okay. Why did the penguin make a fish pun? Anybody? Bueller? No? Just for the halibut. Yeah, that got a face palm over there. That got an eyebrow raise. Okay. You see, I'm not alone in the room today. There might be stealing of foods. But this, I was told the penguins are yummy. I was also told that this is like England's answer to that one that I had from, from Australia that I can't think of the name of now that was so yummy. And yes, that's what it looks like. Oh, the chocolate is gooey. Okay. Oh, it smells delightful. Got vultures around me, geez. Mmm. Look at that. Chocolate wafers. Chocolate coated. It is chocolate. Mmm. It is chocolate incarnate. This is definitely fat chick approved. And the hand is taking the rest away. Oh, wait. There's another hand. Reach. I told you I was not alone in the room. That was delicious. Lisa. Mm. Do I have to visit England just for the sweets? I've got thumbs up all around and it is definitely fat chick approved. Although it's also gone. <laughs> So there is that but it's a good thing there are way more snacks to go around which is why I have help today because it's more snacks that I need to eat by myself and for those of you concerned yes I've already taken a shot get over it diabetes Ooh. okay all right next we're gonna go someplace completely different this is a two for you and this says it's from Palestine this appears to be another sort of chocolate wafer bar deal this one it says milk chocolate coated wafers. Okay, it came from a store that I love to go to in Greenville that is attached to a restaurant that makes the best falafel ever, and that is Pita House. Um, if you ever go to Pita House in Greenville, bring cash because they don't take cards of any kind. But it is worth going to the ATM and getting some cashy money because yes. And oh, there's another hand. It's the paw. Yeah, that's my Oscar, my teeny boy. Oh look, this one is shareable. Not as strong of a chocolate scent as the McFitties. Hmm. Okay. This is another wafer cookie. Okay. Like those sugar wafers that, that, that are pretty common over here in America. Usually the kind that grandmas have, uh, but it's coated in chocolate. It's actually not bad, and the hands are sharing chocolate. Mm. That's not bad. I can see snacking on this, and it's very light. It's not very rich and decadent like a lot of chocolate candies. Um, it's light. It, it feels like you could eat 20 of them. I'm not going to mainly because I don't have them, but you could eat 20 of these. Do we have any thumbs up, down, sideways? We have up over there, up over here. Yum. Yum. Okay. Mm. Fat chick approved. I'm setting that down before I eat the rest of it. And the hand is taking it. Okay. All right. Now, see, we're, we're doing things in reverse. I'm going to get to the savory one at the end. This one I purchased 
at a Walgreens of all places here in the U.S. Stroop Waffles. This is, uh, oh, where in the blast is it from? The Authentic Dutch Stroop Waffles. It says warm it up on your cup. Like if you have a cup of tea or cocoa or something, you set it on top and it warms it up. I'm not going to do that because, oh, look, there are two. Oh, goody. Mmm. What does it say? Caramel. It just says caramel. Two soft toasted waffles filled with caramel, cinnamon, and real bourbon vanilla. Yes. Dutch. We can go to the Netherlands if we're going to eat like this, right? Just not that weird fish stuff they sell us street food. I'm just saying. I saw that and I was like, I don't know. I might try it, but I might not. All right. Let me, uh, try to break. Oh, it's, oh is nice. All right. I know you want that hand. <laughs> the hands have it, right? It is a very mild flavor. It has more of a scent than it does a taste. I want more vanilla and, and, and more cinnamon out of this because I love cinnamon. I'm the girl who will eat cinnamon checks and add more cinnamon to the bowl. I like the texture. He likes the texture. The hand likes the texture. Texture's good. I like the flavor. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not... I just expected, from the scent of it, I expected more flavor. Mm. But it is yummy. And it's very rich. We shared one. That will be all I have of this right now because, wow, that is rich. But, pretty good. Makes me want to go to the Netherlands and find some of the street food that they make of this because, wow, I bet that is so incredible. As good as this is from a packet from Flippin' Walgreens, okay? And finally, last but not least, is my item from Munchbox. Um, they have the, the sheet that tells you where things came from if you can't find it on the packet. This is from Indonesia. Regent Cheese Ball. Light, airy cheese puff balls. It's cheese balls, y'all. Let's see how they compare to the American version. See if I can get into it or if it's Deborah for packaging. Forget that. I have scissors. A lot of air. Well, they don't smell like American uh, cheesy poops. I'll tell you that. They actually smell like cheese. Somebody stole my cheesy poofs. Somebody else stole my cheesy poofs. Can I pout until I get them back? Give me those. Give me mine. Okay. Different. Delicious. This is what cheese balls should taste like. They taste actually like cheese. Hand approved, apparently. Is it other hand approved too? Yeah. These are pretty good. Oh, and I have a feeling. Yep, other hand approved or paw approved. He would eat these if we let him. I have other stuff falling down, which is not good. There we go. Okay. Oh, wow. I like these. Hey now. Next time I go to an international market, I'm looking for these because they beat the planter's cheese balls. And that's sort of like the gold standard of cheese balls over here, or the planter's. I think they're better. Cheese flavored, it says. I don't care. It smells better. Made from corn, cheese powder, 
and a lot of other stuff. I don't care. I want them. I want them all. I might have to run away and keep these all to myself. <laughs> My precious. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, have you tried any of those yourselves? They're all fat chick approved. I'm just saying. They're hand approved and other hand approved. Got thumbs all over the place over here. And the cheese poofs are still getting eaten. Have you had any food from the Philippines or from the Netherlands or from Palestine or from England before? Of course, you're in England. You probably have. Or if you're in England, other places, you probably have. If you ever get the chance to try somebody else's snacks or somebody else's food, do it. Have fun. Be adventurous. Eat all the things. <laughs> Thank you for coming by. Appreciate you spending some time with me today. I would love it if you hit that like button and left me a comment down below. If you're not subscribed already, please consider doing so. And I will see you very soon. Tomorrow, if you're watching this on Tuesday, when it comes out, if not, it's another day, but on a Wednesday, my pepper powder tastings will come out. There are playlists that will pop up over your head, or over my head actually, not over your head, as the video goes. And uh, check them out. I have playlists. It's a thing. See you very soon. Bye, y'all.